the touchline on the fan zone with Tyrus Waiyaki. And just maybe before, as we cascade towards at the end of uh, the show, let's finish uh, with um, the AFCON, you know, and let's look at uh, teams that really did good, teams and players that did good, uh, give a good account of themselves in this particular championship. And maybe without um, uh, wandering around so much, Kevad is one of those teams, you know. What really did impress you about that particular side? energy, passion, mm -hmm. drive, mm -hmm. and they were not alone. Mm -hmm. Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. Angola, mm -hmm. Mali, who, who, who have also made it to the semi-finals and then now playing the third, fourth place playoff. Mm -hmm. These sides, including Mauritania, don't forget, mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. made their first round of 16 ever. Mm -hmm. These are sides who have made this tournament become what it became. Mm -hmm because they made it the underdogs mm -hmm. tournament. Mm -hmm. It's their performances mm -hmm. that changed the narrative. Mm -hmm. People were talking of the big stars, Senegal, Sadio Mane, coming in, in Cameroon, uh, uh, ish, but Senegal a lot. Morocco, after the 2022 World Cup, yeah. when they got all the way to the semi-final, I'll admit, I was banking on Morocco to win this shock of my life, my guy. These new teams, small teams, quote-unquote, they came and stole the show. Mm -hmm. Who knew of Mabululu of Angola mm -hmm. before this tournament? Mm -hmm. Look at... Um, Gelson Dalla. Gelson Dalla, his teammate. Mm -hmm. Goal-scoring machines, mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. And their captain too, Freddie? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then look at the coaches that mm -hmm. coached these teams. Mm -hmm. Full of energy as well. Mm -hmm. ah, they've, they've really taken football to the next level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it carries on this way, and the, the next AFCON is not fights next year, yeah, uh, in Morocco, in Morocco, and mm -hmm. the dates are yet to be released. Yeah, they so better it release the dates that we want. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> it, <laughs> it could be African January dates. to February, mm -hmm. or it could be June to July. Yes. Either way, it's not fights next year. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys should be s s s still going strong. Mm -hmm. I, I I cross my fingers for them, mm -hmm. and we can see this Africa Cup of Nations. Mm -hmm being a stepping stone to the next one mm -hmm. where now those so-called small teams mm -hmm. come and actually s seal the fate of, of, of the, the so-called big names. Uh -huh. Those big names have very little time to prepare themselves. Uh -huh. I'm talking Egypt, Ghana, Senegal, Morocco, Cameroon, mm -hmm. they need to fix themselves, yeah. otherwise mm -hmm. they'll become mm -hmm. names of the past. Yes, indeed. And of course, looking at Cameroon, and, and uh, one thing, of course, uh, that stands out is how I think they did not treat Onana well. Onana needs support, you know. Is it Onana who didn't treat them well or they did not treat Onana well? I think they did not treat Onana well. There's no way one person can, can just can treat the whole country well. The, the country is, has I mean, to treat him well. Uh, yeah, guy. I think they need to, because he's a young man, and for him making a decision to remain at the club, come to the Africa, that's big already. You know, he's already, that's he has blunder. the intention. No, 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 that's he, he already has the intention to come and play for the now country. Now you're calling yourself yeah. Pan-African. <laughs> and, you're, and you're saying this wait, guy who wait, came wait, in four hours. Wait, 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 to, wait. To this is my game. point. Wait, this is my point. This is my point. Uh, Onana needs support. You know, for instance, at the club level, uh, the coach tells him, it's okay for you to go. You know, just go and perform. You know, mm. the coach did not tell him you can't go or, or if you go, you lose your place. No, he told him just go and all the best, you know. And that's what I, I'm thinking. But look at, you know, at, at, at the national team. He's given a game, the next game is not there. I think he needs just someone to hold his hand and give him the belief that you can do it, especially at the national level. You know, they, 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 they're trying to, they really need to be above everything and just hold his hand and, because he's, I mean, but he belongs to that country and he wa Cameroon, he's shown the, the joy to play, he's Cameroon, shown the intention to play for the country. Cameroon as a team yeah. were not well organized. They're mm -hmm. quite confused. Mm -hmm. Since Eto came in, and uh, since Eto came yeah, in, and, uh, he had I think intention. he's overbearing. Uh -huh. he, he should forget the days when he was a player. Mm -hmm. He's now a president of mm -hmm. the local federation. Mm -hmm. When you appoint someone, mm -hmm. and he made the wrong appointment, he appointed mm -hmm. his friend and mm -hmm. former captain mm -hmm. on a national team. A good friend is there as, so, me, as, as assistant. Uh, Rigobert Minye. Song. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. Song was not qualified for this task. That's a fact of life. He gave him this job. <laughs> But he still comes in and you can see him all the time. All the time you can't distinguish between the coach mm -hmm. and the president of the federation. Mm -hmm. 
you, you feel as though he's even got his hand in the selection of the team. That's the impression one gets, either mm -hmm. rightly or wrongly. Mm -hmm. He should have just stepped back. Mm -hmm. Fine, he made a mistake not choosing the best coach, but now step back. Yeah. Cameroon, if you watched their game against Nigeria, they didn't turn up at all. Yeah. In fact, that was one of the worst performances of this whole tournament, if not the worst. They just didn't turn up. At, they were walking on that pitch. You can see they are not together. They are a divided house that needs to be put in order. Mm -hmm. Time is against them. The next AFCON is next year. Mm -hmm. My friend, that's one Christmas away. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no time. There's no time. It said that all wanted to resign from the yeah. presidency, yeah. and then he was told no. He was overruled yeah. by the, the board. But again, I think <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about like he's in power, and nobody really likes to leave power. But anyway, and, and Rigobert's song contract expires mm -hmm. in a few days' time. Yeah, hopefully they. The, the lion, the lion finds, you know, no, I don't, I, finds itself it and grows again. It shouldn't be renewed. Yeah. I don't think that contract should be renewed. Yeah. They should get a coach who can coach the yeah. team. Yeah, and, and also maybe one thing about um, these, the underdogs that did impress this particular Afghan was that um, teams that have structure, you know, they have a structure. They, they, mm. don't, they don't play around a certain player, you know. We really saw that. And I think, um, and and I think with that point, we've seen in, in when Nigeria was coming coming to this championship, everybody was picking out some certain names, you know, like we expecting to see that particular Victor star shine. But we've mm. seen we've seen the team is not about him, you know, the team is not about him, you know, he's a lesser role. But again, you know, they have their own structure. So teams surround I'll, individuals, they they really, really struggled, you know. Yeah, yeah, I get your point. Teams that have played like a team yeah. have done well, yeah. like Evad. Yes. Look at Bebe. Yeah. We never knew of him. He's another yeah. Mabulu. Equatorial Guinea. Eh? He, he came Emilio. from nowhere. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Teams that played like teams mm -hmm. really did it well. Yeah. But Nigeria, I can't say they've played a <laughs> I think they've spectacular like, football. Yeah. They're, they're, they're even boring to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, the, but, yes, their teams whose key players mm -hmm. didn't live up to expectation. Mm -hmm. And that's normally, from this tournament, mm -hmm. in the big teams. Yes, and, and maybe, uh, uh, Tyrus, about the, about the players that, uh, a, a few players that will count as we get towards the end of uh, the show, a few players that will count tomorrow in the final for both Nigeria and Ivory Coast. I could begin with Ivory Coast. I think Seri has been very key to them in the previous matches that you've seen since he's been a uh, uh, come into the mm -hmm. central midfield role. He really stabilized the team. I think he'll be, he'll be one of the key players that will be influential and crucial to Definitely. MS5. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And the who two, the two Fofanas. Uh -huh. The Fofana yeah, who, play, who plays outfield yeah. and the Seku. Fofana goalkeeper. Seku and Yahya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The two Fofana, very key. Mm -hmm. Very, very key. And they need to test the Nigerian defense. Mm -hmm. You test that defense, you open it up. True, if you don't, has been a solid... If you don't open it up, then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, Nwabili, the Nigerian goalkeeper, mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. He's a key man, mm -hmm. especially if they go all the way to penalties. Mm -hmm. Ekong will mm -hmm. be very crucial. Mm -hmm. His leadership, yeah. his He's presence. He's very, very two high-pressured penalties, you know? Yes. In this particular, and provided that leadership. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Then, obviously, Lukman and Simon have been quite outstanding for mm -hmm. Nigeria. And Alex Iwobi, mm -hmm. very key player. He's playing a more defensive role, mm -hmm. which he's now fami familiar with because that's what he learned at Everton, mm -hmm. playing defensive football. Mm -hmm. He didn't shine with it at Everton yeah. because he was quite new to this role. He's an attacking player, naturally, mm -hmm. ball player. Mm -hmm. But now he's learned this new art mm -hmm. And he's blemished with it. Blemishing uh, at at Atalanta. Uh -huh. at, um, at, at national Lukman team now, level. At, yes. He's become a box-to-box -box player. Mm -hmm. Fantastic tournament he's mm -hmm. had. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely 
We look forward to an exciting final. I hope it's befitting of the kind of tournament that we have had. Mm -hmm. But before then, obviously, we have South Africa, yeah. Mali. Yeah, we have South, South Africa against DR, DR Congo. Uh, DR Congo yeah, in, the, the in, the, in the playoffs. Third place playoff, yes. Tonight. Yes, the two teams. Oh, which reminds me, I said Mali got to the semi-final. Sorry, they got to the quarter-final yeah. early. Of course, they were knocked yeah, out by, were knocked by out. Ivory Coast. The host. By, by Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. So, apologies for that. South Africa... DRC, mm -hmm. another beautiful tournament. And you know, DRC, our neighbors, further down the road. Eh? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they even speak Swahili. They, oh, in a big way. Yeah. So they've, they've, they're really represented. Yeah, that's in yeah. Bukavu for the eastern part that border uh, and most of the East African neighbors. And they've know. won the AFCON twice. Yes. 1968 it's as been Congo it's Brazil. Been 50 years. As Congo Kinshasa then. Yes. They were known as Congo Kinshasa. Remember, there's also Congo Brazzaville. Yeah. It's like another case of the Guineas. Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, Guinea, yeah, and, Papua and, New Guinea. And, 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 and <laughs> yeah, of course, out South Africa, and maybe about Guinea. And, and they won in 74, Zaire. And, and why they are called Guineas Afcon. is that, yeah. um, you know, there was so much gold when uh, the white man was dividing Africa, you know, mm -hmm. in 1885. So the French decided to go with the Guinea. Yes. And then, of course, the Portuguese left with Guinea-Bissau. Mm. And then uh, the Equatorial Guinea... Uh, Spain. to the Spanish. <laughs> so that's why, that's the difference, you mm. know. But anyway, we wish, uh, so we'll be going for, so for DRC to do well to, uh, in their final, in the third place playoff today. Uh, they have to fight it mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. There's no free Talk about the quality, you know, we've seen some of the, I could name the whole team now, I think after this tournament, you know, mm. beginning in the goal with the Zaun Pasi, the man who wears the mouth guard. You know, I've never seen a goalkeeper. The, most of them op, uh, opt to wear the masks and all that, but he's gone for the mouth, like you, a boxer. You should have started um, with their coach, <laughs> Sebastian de Sabre. Yeah, the coach. Remember? And he came in just when eh? the team was, you know, doldering in the qualifiers. <laughs> Remember, that's the guy who took Uganda to AFCON mm -hmm. in 2019. 2019 yeah. And he took them to the round of 16. Mm -hmm. And they lost narrowly to eventual finalist mm -hmm. Senegal. Mm -hmm. One nil. Mm -hmm. And they were playing beautiful football. Mm -hmm. You gave them a set piece, say a free kick, they score against you. Corner kick, they score against you. The man is a coach and a half. So... He's been tasked with taking DRC to the El 2026 Kakuta? World Cup. Kakuta, you know, he's struggled <clears throat> with fitness in this particular championship. The yes. Former Chelsea man. Oh, yes. He's the playmaker. But remember, mm -hmm. this tournament, there is at, at some point, people thought Ivory Coast are missing Zaha. It turns out, no. He Ivory, wasn't. Ivory Coast were missing everybody <laughs> at the start. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. But now they're, they're not even talking of Zaha. <laughs> yeah. Now they're not even talking of Zaha. Yeah. Because as you rightly said a few minutes ago, this thing is teamwork. Mm -hmm. It's not about that individual yeah, player who yeah, will come revolving and around mm, a player, no. Mm -hmm. This thing is teamwork. Mm -hmm. Once Ivory Coast rediscovered themselves, mm -hmm. they found themselves mm -hmm. again, coasting coast to coast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. DRC, complete package. Mm -hmm. But they met a team that's re reborn yeah. and playing yeah. at home. Yeah, and, and, and maybe picking up from uh, their first matches mm -hmm. that uh, we did see... Um, in the beginning, the, the Sabre had really, he had fire, you know, yes. on the, on, in depth on the bench. Yes. We did see their first game, you know, when the second half knocked in, we saw Akina Meshak earlier coming in, uh, Sailors coming in, then Fiston Maele, really fast guys. But then the second game, because they had impressed from the bench, the second game they were given the, uh, you know, the, the starting the starting role. So really this has eaten into their firepower and we've seen, but the revelations I think from that particular team is the, uh, you know, the Fiston Mayeles being uh, the Theo Bogondas and it's a promising side with quality players who all uh, deserve to be on the pedestal. Hopefully they can get bronze mm. in this particular uh, championship. You know what really does it for me, mm. now that you've mentioned all those players, how they were brought in and stuff, mm -hmm. is the fact that since COVID, mm -hmm. you're now allowed to make five substitutions mm -hmm. from the, the previous three. Mm -hmm. Before you could only make them. That's tight. Mm -hmm. But now with five, mm -hmm. you're seeing De Sabre, for example, mm -hmm. whom you've just mentioned. Mm -hmm. He's good at making double substitutions. Mm -hmm. So you bring in two players all at once. Mm -hmm. And he's not the only coach that has been doing that. Mm -hmm. And that's another key factor, and mm -hmm. people haven't noticed, that mm -hmm. has contributed immensely mm -hmm. in those last-minute goals. Mm -hmm. Changing the pace of the game because mm -hmm. you can make two substitutions all at once. Mm -hmm. You relax, mm -hmm. you bring in one player, mm -hmm. and then you bring yeah. two more. We've so sure, that, yeah. last minute 
fresh legs, fresh energy, new perspective, goal. Yeah, we saw that with Ivory Coast in their semi-final game with mm. Adingras yes, and the yes, Akitas yes, coming in yes, just yes. in the last minutes and scoring in a hundred and twenty uh -huh, second. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. So and then the next thing we saw the Mali coach squatting and crying. Eric Shelley, Eric Shelley, Eric Shelley. Yeah. and water being poured on he his head. He was being baptized. Oh my good. That was one of the most touching. That's the most touching moment for me in this tournament. It's memorable picture he didn't from deserve that, that kind of end. Man, that's one coach who gave this tournament everything. Mm -hmm. One of the best coaches. For such an end to suffice for the kind of tournament he's had, that was a bitter pill to swallow. That's but that's life. Goes. That's football. Yeah, and also South Africa. They really did give um, a, a, anybody else a run for their money in the semi-final for the first time in twenty plus years. Mm. South Africa and Nigeria, the two most defensive side mm -hmm. in this tournament. Mm -hmm. A tournament that has two been built on attacking, attacking, Africa. attacking, attacking mm -hmm. football. Mm -hmm. But these two sides changed the narrative. Mm -hmm. You didn't think defensive football would take you this far in this tournament? It did. But it, did, for, it did with them yeah. it, uh, and Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And their game with Nigeria was always going to be tight. Mm -hmm. Because these are two tight sides. Mm -hmm. South Africa started coming out after they conceded that goal to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That's when they started playing attacking football. Otherwise, they were sitting back as well as Nigeria. So it's, it's no surprise that their game went to a uh, penalty shootout. Mm -hmm. Because these are two defensive sides. Mm -hmm. What to expect? 1-1 mm -hmm. one, one at mm -hmm. full time, mm -hmm. penalty shootout mm -hmm. decider. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Hugo Bruce so could not become the second coach to win a different title with the... Uh, second title of a different title. team. Yeah. Yes, they but won it really first in 1996. Uh, a great squad, you know. He's mm. really given us a nice perspective as, uh, as meaning Africa. He should uh, stay very, on. Very, very, he yeah. should stay on. The president yeah. of the South African Football Association yeah, has said Mosepe doing well, doubling given up his, the prize his, money for yeah, the winners at given, this tournament. He's given his full support. Mm -hmm. uh, they've done brilliant. Yeah. Their first AFCON that they almost won since 1996 1996, they hosted it. They ma that was their debut as well, if you remember, mm -hmm. because they ha South Africa had been expelled from Locked international out, of sports because mm -hmm. of the apartheid mm -hmm. era. They came in and won on their debut. Mm -hmm. That was brilliant. The Madiba, the, final. Uh, the Madiba Magic, mm -hmm. 1998. Eight, yeah, they were in the yeah. final. So, <coughs> a, good account, region, yeah. a, a good account for them. And South African football has been lying low on the international scenes, b getting a lot of stoning from uh, all of us, including yours truly here. Now they've kept us quiet a bit because this was a country that was on the upward trend, winning AFCON, qualifying for our, uh, World Cup regularly, and then they sort of disappeared. And then we're wondering, Aye, how is this possible? And the way their league mm -hmm. has a lot of money pumped into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And now here they are. Mm -hmm. uh, kudos to them. They've yes. given us a good tournament. When yes. they've played, yes. as, aside from the defensive football, mm -hmm. they played attacking football. Yeah. Ah, they've been a joy to of watch. Of course, this and some of the revelations from the South African squad include the Ma Masanda Wana goalkeeper, the Ronwen Williams. You know, definitely he deserves to win that player of the tournament award, saving four penalties in one match. It's never, ever, never been done before in the history of this championship. And also, it has proved that uh, the home leagues can produce a continental beaters, just like Kenya used to do in 80s or 92. You know, majority of the players who went to that particular, when Kenya went to three, three-peat Africa Cup of National mm. appearances. They are all from Gurmahi and FC Leopard, so nothing can be impossible. But that's how we end it. Remember that the AFCON 2023 mm. culminates uh, this weekend, and today it will be the third place playoff between uh, DR Congo. That's uh, the Leopards against uh, Bafana. Bafana, two-time winners, of course, 1974, while South Africa did it in 1996. But they'll be meeting in the third place playoff later on today. And, of course, tomorrow is the, semi, is the final that Ivory hosts against uh, the Nigerians. And Nigerians going for their fourth title, uh, while of course, uh, Ivory Coast, uh, they'll be going for their first title since 2015, which will be the third one if they get it. All the same. That's how we end it on the touch on this lovely afternoon. I'm Bernardo Kumo. Thank you so much, Tyrus. Thank you so much. For making your time. You and forgot to tell them. Channel One will show the final yeah, line. And even tonight, third it's and fourth it's place it's playoff. It's been a fanfare all mm -hmm. over, you know, so don't miss out. Just Tyrus did fill in the gaps here. So <laughs> <laughs> watch out on Channel One. Of course, the action continues uh, this particular weekend. That's when the final will be held tomorrow. But from me, thank you so much and a great weekend.